In this video, you will learn all about Gaganyaan, ISRO's first manned mission. Let's start by understanding what is Human Space Flight Center or HSFC. Well, ISRO's Human Space Flight Center is leading the Gaganyaan program. Why do we need it? To send humans to space and bring them back safely. HSFC oversees the development of technologies, training of astronauts and ensures high standard of safety and reliability for these. What is Gaganyaan project? The project aims to send a crew of three members to an orbit of 400 kilometers. They'll stay there for three days before safely returning to Earth, landing in Indian sea waters. This project will leverage Indian industry experience, academia, research institutions and international technologies. Critical technologies include a human-rated launch vehicle, life support system, crew emergency escape provision and crew management aspects. Before the actual human space flight mission, various demonstrator missions are planned. These include integrated airdrop test, pad abort test and test vehicle flights. Which launcher will the project use? The LVM-3 rocket, a reliable heavy lift launcher of ISRO, is chosen for Kaganyaan mission. It's been reconfigured to meet human rating requirements and renamed human rated LVM-3. What is orbital module? The orbital module which will orbit the Earth consists of crew module and service module. Crew module provides an Earth-like environment in space for the crew and is designed for re-entry to ensure crew safety during descent. And SM supports the CM while in orbit. Why new technologies are being developed for Gaganyaan? Given that human safety is paramount for Gaganyaan mission, various new technologies including engineering systems and human-centric systems are being developed. How about crew training? An astronaut training facility in Bengaluru provides classroom training, physical fitness training, simulator training and flight suit training. The training covers academic courses, Gaganyan flight systems, microgravity familiarization, aeromedical training and more.